installing a resource pack is actually very easy. First you go to a, a website that has resource packs, and I'll link you uh, one or two. And you just make sure that the resource pack you're downloading is for the version of Minecraft that you have. And it should tell you, you know, what version it's compatible with. So once you, once you find the one you want and you click on it, um, you'll be taken to, in most cases, a website that gives you advertisements and sometimes tries to trick you to, on, on, it tries to convince you to click something that you shouldn't be clicking. Um, it is a nightmare. Uh, just getting through those sites, but it's the same if you download any free software You're going to get people who try to make money off the advertising and so they have pop-ups telling you to you know Click here and all this stuff uh, Anyhow once you get past that and you get to the actual file and you download it installing it on your computer is really really simple You need to navigate to your minecraft folder or minecraft data folder and you do that by going to any URL bar on your system and typing in percent app data percent and then just go to dot minecraft uh, the exact address would be I don't know wherever you put it probably drive C uh, then your name then um, app data then roaming then dot minecraft but whatever just do the percentage app data percentage it would be helpful if you actually uh, created a shortcut to your minecraft data anyhow uh, once you go there you'll see where it says resource packs this is where you download all of your resource packs too. Again, as far as where to get them, off the internet. Uh, some sites are more trusted than others. I'll link you a couple of decent ones. Um, just be careful not to click any adware by accident thinking it's your download. Um, they all look spammy like that. Um, anyhow, you just put, put them in your uh, resource folder. And here's something really important. Uh, do not unpack them. They're going to come as an arch archived file. Do not unpack them. Just keep them packed and put in your resource folder. Okay, so let's talk about um, resource packs. This right here that you're looking at, this is BDCraft. Now, um, I've already shown you how to actually install a resource pack. Now let me show you how to activate it within game. I go to Escape, Options, Resource Packs and choose from a compatible uh, resource pack. The one I'm using right now is Pure BD Craft. I'm using the 256 version. Um, that's the higher the number, the higher the pixel, the better the clarity, but the more memory it takes up. So it depends on how fast your computer is. Um, let's see, what do I want to try here? Let's go ahead and try this one right here. And we'll get rid of this one. Oops, didn't get rid of it. Um, hit the X. There we go. Okay, so it just crashed my game the first time I did this. I got a lot of stuff running. It's kind of overloading my computer, I guess. And this is a very high resolution uh, pack. And sometimes when you start switching from really high resolution packs and back and forth, um, it can crash the game. Anyhow, let's take a look outside. Look at that. And I'm on uh, creative mode right now so they won't attack me. But this is what... The, look at that zombie. Look at that mean old zombie. Look at that spider. So yeah, this is... Um, I for, forget the name of it. It's NK something. I'll, I'll have it written down. But this is a really beautiful pack. Um, they make lower resolution versions if your computer can't handle it. Um, I seem to be holding 30 frames and I'm recording with Fraps. So, which is locked at 30 frames. So, I'm doing pretty good here. Let's change to a different resource pack. And I should warn that when you change resource packs, it can sometimes take a really long time. It might take you know, up to a full minute um, in order for it to switch over. What's another good one that I like? Persistence. This, this is another favorite of mine. Yeah, in fact, Persistence is my favorite. Either that or, or pure BD craft. Okay, so I'm going to click Done, and this might take a little while. There we go. Thought my game was going to crash for a moment. I know that the, um, the Select screen uh, is kind of bugged. 
when you go to switch resource packs. Um, I don't know if it's just my version or what. So let's take a look at this. Hello, spider. Oh, look at that face. Show me that handsome face again. Here's our home. Let's go take a look. Things look sweet. Yeah, I really do like this um this pack. It looks nice. It even changes the way our menu looks. And I'm gonna switch back to um pure BD craft. I'm using the 128 version, I think. There we go. Let's go back out and look at look at our zombie and spider. Where are they? Here they are. Yeah, pure BD craft is kind of cartoony, but I like it. And now I guess we'll move on to shader packs. Okay, shader packs are a little bit more difficult to install. First, you're going to have to have something like Optifine. You can also use SourceForge and, uh, I think, like a shader installer. Anyhow, um, I would suggest just finding the, the Optifine version that matches your Minecraft, download and, and install Optifine. Once you've done that, you want to go to this folder right here. It's the same one. Do the um, percentage app data percentage and go to your Minecraft data folder. Now, if you don't have a folder called, if you don't have a folder called Shader Packs, you're going to have to make one. So take a look at the one on the screen, and if you don't find it in your folder, you're going to have to go ahead and make it. Um, this is where you're going to put all your shader packs in. It's just like the resource packs. Once you download it to your computer, just put the whole thing into the, uh, the shader pack folder, and don't unzip it. Don't uh, unarchive it at all. And then I'll show you how to activate it from within game. Oh, and one more thing. Once you install the Optifine, you're going to have to load Minecraft through the profile called Optifine. Um, I'll show you how to do that. Once you click on the Minecraft launcher, you can see at the bottom here where you can choose different profiles. So click on the thing and look through your profiles, find Optifine, and make sure that one's selected. Then just click play. Okay, once you've installed the shader packs, this is how you get to them. First of all, you have to load it through Optifine, if I haven't already mentioned that. Go to Options, Video Settings, and Shaders. Um, this is my favorite. Um, or no, this one right here, Continuum. Now I can adjust this one right here through the Shader Options. This is on Standard. Go back to Done. Click Done. Done. Done back to game. Okay. Might not be able to notice much of a difference here. Let me see what happens if I put this away. Alright, so you've got a little bit of dynamic light going on. But you can you can notice a difference when you step outside. The grass blows around a little bit. The sun is nice and bright. Um, I'm not getting 30 frames a second. I'm getting 19 trees move around. Um, this is really beautiful, but it's very, very taxing on your graphics card. So you need to have a really pow powerful graphics card for this. Let's try another one. Oops. Video settings. This is probably the most famous right here. The S-E-U-S, I forget what it stands for. Uh, we'll just uh, activate it. Now I'm getting 30 frames per second. And the water looks really nice. The sun and the shadowing is doing really good. I don't remember whether or not this has dynamic lighting. We'll get inside of a darker area and we'll find out. Yes, it does. 
as you pull out your torch and it gets brighter, which really helps when you're walking through dark, spooky areas. Not all shaders have dynamic lighting, or maybe it's called dynamic torch lighting, I'm not really sure. Um, no shader is perfect. There's, there's always going to be some are better at one thing than another. Like this right here, I'm looking off in the distance, and it has kind of a purplish, bluish hue, where it should just be dark. Um, yeah, every shader is going to have some kind of a trade-off. Um, I do like this one right here. Another one I like is, let, let me show you the other one I like. This one right here, the Chaka Pick 13 medium. Uh, we'll go to done. The water is more transparent and reflective. I'm holding 30 frames. Um, and again, I, I say I'm holding 30 frames. My fraps that I'm recording with automatically locks up to 30. So as long as I'm getting 30, I know I'm doing good. I lost the entrance to my home. Good thing I photographed the, uh, the coordinates. Here we go. I don't know if this has dynamic lighting. You can see. Nope, no dynamic lighting. See how I got the torch in my hand? I switch over to something else, it doesn't change. So no dynamic lighting for this. Um, this looks pretty good. I, I do like this. This is nice. The water looks uh, very clear, maybe a little too clear. Um, the things do look beautiful. They look nice. So let's see how realistic we can make this game look. Oh, I know I'm going to crash my system doing this. Okay, it loaded over. That's good. It's very good. Go to video settings, shaders. Um, that's just going to kill my system. I can't even run that. I'm going to do, a, or the continuum one. Um, even on standard, my system just could not handle this really intense uh, pack, uh, resource pack, plus the continuum shader. That's not going to work. So we'll go to this one. And hopefully this one will work. Oh, I'm getting a little busy thing. It says busy. System ain't working. System's dying. I hope I hope this works. Okay, I could not get that one to work. Um, some shaders are going to crash the game when put in conjunction with certain resource packs for a lot of different reasons. Um, anyhow, uh, I think this looks pretty realistic here. This isn't half bad looks nice so yeah you can get the game looking pretty realistic I mean everything's effectively just going to be blocks uh, but you can get the game looking pretty good with the right combination of shader packs and resource packs so if you've got a really powerful computer I suggest you just play around with it resource packs are easy because even if you have a weak computer you can always find a, a low resolution um, resource pack to work with the thing that really is going to challenge your computer is going to be the shaders. That's what's going to hit your, your GPU really hard. Anyhow, um, that's my little tutorial.